Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Walillahi mulku samawati wal ardi wallah. Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار واختلاف الليل والنهار لا آيات لأولي الألباب الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والأرض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار صدق الله العظيم إرشاد حجة أسمان وجمين إرشاد وبو مخمط أكمات رو الله ري अल्लाह शर्व विषय शर्वशक्तिमान निश्चय आसमान और जमीन सृष्टि एवं रि दिन आवर्तन निदर्शन रही से बोध सम्पन्न लोकर जो जरा दाड़िए बसे और सहित अवस्था आल्लाह के स्मरण कर चिंता गवेषणा कर आकाशमंडल और पृथ्वी सृष्टिर विषय तरा बोले हे हम पालनकर्ता युव तुम्हें अनर्थक सृष्टि करी सकल पवित्रता तुम्हारे আমাদিগে তুমি দুজুগের সাস্তিতিকে বাসাও আল কোর আন সুরা আলে এমরান আযাত একশো উনন বুই থেকে একশো একান বুই ওমা আলাইনা ইলাল বলাও আসালামু আলেকুম রহমতুল্লা Dr. Kazi Khulikujjaman Ahmed to declare the convocation open. Assalamu alaikum. Degree Pradhan and Nimitte Ayojito, leading university, Dityo Shamaabartan Anushtaner, Shubo Udbadan Gushana Korchi. Thank you, sir. Now I request Professor Dr. Mohamad Kismatul Ahasan, Vice Chancellor of Leading University, to kindly deliver his Welcome address. Honorable Chairman of the Second Convoc Convocation, Dr. Kaji Khalilkut Jaman Ahmad, Convocation Speaker, Professor Dr. Jamil Reja Choudhury, Chairman and Member of the Board of Trustees, Member of the Syndicate and the Academic Council, Faculty Members, Officers and Staff, Graduating Students, Guardians and Graduates, distinguished guests, journalists, and volunteers, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon to all. It gives me immense pleasure to receive you all at the second convocation ceremony of Leading University. Today is an auspicious moment for us. I highly feel delighted to be a part of this vibrant event, event E event which is graced by the presence of the chair of the second convocation, Dr. Kaji Khalikud Jaman Ahmad, the convocation speaker of today's ceremony, Professor Dr. Jamil Reja Choudhury, and other distinguished personalities for adding to this magnificence of this memorable day for this university. My warm felicitations should go to the graduating students 
who are about to enter the dynamic, competitive job sector at home and abroad. I am also appreciating the pa parents and guardians for their patience and a steady support which had enabled the students to hold the crown of success today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with a deep sense of gratitude that I would like to remember those enlightened people who made this academic progress of the university a smooth sailing. In this regard, I recall with due respect the contributions of all former vice chancellors of leading university. Above all, I recognize with due respect the wholehearted support of philanthropist Dr. Ragib Ali, who with a missionary deal founded this university to disseminate education throughout the Silet region and feed the growing demand of quality higher education in this region. Leading University has been a forerunner since its inception in providing internationally comparable higher education at a reasonable cost in a range of disciplines that cater for the changing needs of the current job market. Leading University has received its charter under the Private University Act 1992, and at the very beginning, it got the approval of the University Grants Commission of Bangladesh to open 18 academic programs at undergraduate and graduate levels in the Faculty of Business Administration, Modern Science, arts and modern languages, and social science. Out of these, 11 programs are running in full swing with mammoth success. You will be pleased to know that apart from the 18 programs permitted earlier, this year the university has already sailed three more programs, that is BA Honors and MA in Islamic Studies and Master in Public Health with the approval from the UGC. As a matter of fact, the university is getting massive response from the student community for these subjects. We are planning to start the subjects pharmacy and information technology very soon. Our faculty members steadfastly adhere to the excellent academic commitment which forms the foundation of our vision of imparting higher education, nurturing promising individuals, and producing accomplished students for internationally competitive perspective. As a premier seat of higher education in Silet, leading university has successfully developed many creative and resourceful minds. Our university has been a trendsetter in providing innovative higher education. It takes pride in the total process of creating future leaders of the, for the country. The success and respect that leading university enjoys is a testimony to the quality of education and training imparted by the organization. The university feels proud in that it never dilutes the academic norms and yields to the unethical practices of dealing with, with the academic affairs. The achievement of leading university graduates shows that how we can have success in this country with limited resources that we have. Respected guardians, it is my privilege to convey my fervent felicitations to you on the occasion of the second convocation of leading university today. As a matter of fact, your kind presence at this moment in the convocation makes us all feel joyous while you are attending this youth program at the side of graduating students. I sincerely realize that how much sacrifice you had to make for getting your words graduated from university and today is the day of fulfillment of your long, long cherished desire and celebrations. I must express my indebtedness to all the parents and guardians who have always extended their hands as well as moral support to make the second convocation of leading university a success. Dear graduating students, today you have reached the day for which you have been preparing and waiting for long. This is the day of your glorious achievement. Till now you have dreamed, believed, strived and aspired. Now the time has come to achieve, thrive, lead and inspire. Graduation is a crucial intersection between the end of a student life and the start of a practical life. You are now entering a highly competitive world where you, have to, you have to prove yourself worthy for continuous survival. 
leading university graduates over the years have proven their growth in both home and abroad. Dear graduates, be authentic and never be afraid to face challenges and to do something different. I appreciate your hard work and effort and hope to see you achieve a great success. Be at the top of the competition, bring in positive changes for your motherland. Remember that you are the ambassadors of leading university and the university will be recognized in the society through your deeds. I expect that you would be true to your thinking, true to your word, and above all, true to your work in every walk of your life. May you shine in your lives and uphold the image of your university and the country that we dearly love. I wish you a long, happy, healthy, and prosperous life. Thank you all. Thank you, Professor Dr. M.D. Kismatullah Hassan. May I now request Danavi Dr. Ragibali, Founder and Chairman, Board of Trustees of Leading University to kindly address the convocation. Danavi Dr. Ragibali. Honorable Chairman of the Convocation, Dr. Kazi Khalikudjuman Ahmad, respected Convocation Speaker, Professor Dr. Mohammed Kismatullah Shah, members of the Board of Trustees, the Syndicate, and the Academic Council, faculty members, and the administration, graduating students, and their respected parents and guardians, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to welcome you all to the second convocation ceremony of the leading university. I convey my heartfelt gratitude to the honorable chairs of the ceremony for his gracious presence. I also express my Sincere thanks to the respected convocation speaker and other dignitaries, members of the media, and the proud parents and guardians of the graduating students for their kind presence. My special thanks to the graduating students for which we are here today. Dear guardian, graduating students, Today, you have proved you are as the worthy children of your parents who took care of you all the time. You have also proved as the worthy student to your teachers who guided you with the diligence and patience. This is the moment of glory for you, your parents, and families, and also your teachers, and every member of the university who always cooperated you. I honestly recall the invaluable support you extended in founding this university. I am also inspired for your constant cooperation for the progress of the university. The leading university, as it implies, as it also promoting university of the country, it is the first, uh, first and foremost private university in Silet Division. Our dream is also to make a center of the excellence in the higher education in this region. I heartily recognize the hard work and sincere contribution of the trustees, members of the syndicate, faculty members, and administration to make this institution rich 
at his present state. Distinguished guest, the leading university since its inception has been imparting quality education with values and disseminating knowledge with skill into the student. It matters and and tenders young minds in preparing them into talented individual and human capital. In spite of its limitation of resources, the university does not compromise with quality education. The graduate of this university and making their mark in all walk of life, particularly in pursuing their higher education and in making their career. I am confident that the university will continue to play its pioneering role for the spreading of this higher education in the country. Let us continue to work hard towards upholding an image of the university. Dear graduating student, you have completed in the important chapter of your life that you will help shaping your future. You may choose to pursue higher studies or may build career or may start your own business. But mind, it, it, mind, it is that whatever you choose, you may come across many. unemployment situation too in your future life. You must face this situation with your courage, knowledge, and patience. You must stick to the value and the education you have attained throughout your study to overcome those situations. Remember, your alma mater is always present in whatever you are. Never compromise with your integrity as is defined whoever you are. Always comply with the devotion, diligence, discipline, kindness, modesty alike, which will take you in achieving your successful end. Once again, I congratulate you on your splendid achievement. It was wise on your part to choose the leading university to be your alma mater, but doing so, you have become a part of the glorious history of this university. At the end, in this August moment, I remember my beloved wife, late Begum Rabia Khadu Chaudhuri, who had great contribution in this university, establishing this university. May Allah rest her life and future. Thank you all. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Dr. Ragibali, for your inspiring words of advice to the graduating students. Now I request the Honorable Convocation Speaker, Professor Dr. Jamilu Raja Choudhury, Vice Chancellor, University of Asia Pacific, to kindly deliver the Convocation speech. Ladies and gentlemen, the Convocation Speaker. Dr. Kazi Khaliku Zaman Ahmed, the nominee of the Honorable Chancellor to preside over this convocation, Vice Chancellor Professor Dr. Mohammed Kismatul Ahsan, 
chairman and members of the board of trustees, members of the syndicate and academic council, faculty members and staff, graduating students, parents, guardians, and members of families of graduates.